Okay, today what we're going to do is we are going to be making the artist uh, Hokusai um, artwork called The Great Wave. Here is a little drawing that I did of it. Um, and what we're going to do is just a guided drawing of how to do that. If you do not have a piece of paper available, you could do it on an envelope. That's actually what I used for... Um, this drawing right here is I use an envelope. You could use cardboard, you could use whatever, and then again, you can use whatever drawing implement you want. Today, I'm just gonna use marker, but pencil's fine. Marker, crayon, pen, whatever. Whatever you have available. So we're just gonna start with some basic lines. So the first thing we wanna make is that big, giant, great wave. So we're gonna start on the um, left-hand side of your paper. And we're gonna go about in the middle maybe a little bit below the middle. And we're gonna start with a line that scoops over and then comes up pretty drastically. Comes a little close to the top of the paper and curves out. It's kind of like a stretched out letter S. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add the um, white caps of the wave and we're just gonna scoop like the letter C or the letter U over and over again. See those making our bumps or our mountain line. Some of them can be bigger, some of them can be smaller. We're just gonna kind of go down and sort of like a diagonal line from there. When you get to about here, you're gonna stop. You're gonna curve a big bump out. That's gonna be another wave coming in. And when you get to the bottom of that, you're gonna, again, do those white caps, those curves. So I'll do about three of those. And then one big scoop. down, over, and out. Now what we have to do is we have to draw the inside piece of these um, waves. Right now what we sort of have is, looks like kind of like a fishtail or something, or, a, some, or some claws going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna scoop in, curve, down, slightly up, and then over and out. Where we drew our first set of white caps, we're gonna go back over to that, and we are going to imitate those. So underneath, we're gonna go bump, 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 to get the white caps. And then we're gonna do one over those. So we're gonna go bump, 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 bump. We're gonna do the same thing to these white caps here. We're gonna do a bump, a bump, a bump. And we're gonna do one more over top, bump, bump. What we want to add is that swirling swoosh here. So we're going to draw some energy lines to show that. And we're going to go right inside here. And we're just going to mimic this line here. And we're going to curve, curve, curve. Depending on how big your wave here is, you might need to add another one. And then we're going to continue those down here. So this line goes, pick up. On the other side of that, continue. This line goes, pick up, on the other side, continue for the rest of those. You can also add some more coming from here. A scoop, a scoop, a scoop. So add a couple of those lines. Next, we're gonna make the white caps for these sort of waves over here. And we're gonna start off to the edge of the paper. We're gonna start with some bumps. About three bumps. 
curve under. And then that's sort of like a irregular zigzag line there. You can decide how many zigzags. Uh, curve over and then off out to the edge of the paper. If you want to add some scoops here, you're more than welcome to. And then we just need to do the same thing for up here. So start on this peak right here. This is the peak. We're going to go out, wavy lines out to the edge. And now we have our waves for our great wave picture. Next thing we need to add is that Mount Fuji, which gets located right in the middle of this scoop. So you're going to go up to a point, down from that point until you hit that wave. And then you're just going to do a zigzag line across there to be your Mount Fuji, the white snow top Mount Fuji. After that, we are going to add the outline of the clouds. So these are just going to be wavy sort of lines. They're going to just go wavy out here on that side of the mountain, of the, not mountain, excuse me, of the wave. And then on the other side of the wave, they're going to pick up. Maybe they go up a little bit. You can change your clouds however you like. And they go out sort of off to the edge. And that just shows us a couple of the waves that are in the picture. Last thing we want to do is we want to try to add one of those boats in there. So somewhere on your wave, in the original artwork, there are two boats. But if you can only fit one, just fit one boat. I'm just going to put a boat right about here. And again, that's just a straight line across and a curved line down. If I feel like I could see the other side of the boat on the other side of this wave, I'm just going to add that in right there. Might put a couple people, just simple people, a couple heads, and then a couple lines for the bodies. Those are just circles and curved lines. I could make a little bit of a detail on the boat if I like, but otherwise I could leave it just fine. And there you have a Hokusai style great wave guided drawing. When you are done, what you want to do is you want to sign it. And if you want to have a little fun and do it in the Japanese way of signing things, you will go over to the top left-hand corner of your artwork. And you're going to draw a vertical box. And inside that vertical box here, you're going to write your name. So I would write Vidoli going down. So V-I-D-O-L-I. If you write your name, you would write it going down. And it just kind of makes it a fun little way to put your signature in a different style. Um, if you are done with this, what you can do is you can choose to color it in. You could use lots of different uh, colors. If you don't have crayons, you can use markers. If you don't have markers, you could use paint. You could use whatever you have available to you. Um, coloring is totally up to you. You could also just leave it as an outline. But nice job. And uh, I'd love for you to share with me what you've done. So share that on um, Dojo or Google Classroom or whatever platform you have available.